Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. So back in my day, when I grew up in the 1990s, we didn't have YouTube channels, we didn't have people like NS or Producer Michael showing us these incredible $100 million houses. Instead, we had MTV Cribs, and that was our glimpse into the life of like what it's like to be a celebrity or live in a big mansion. And I thought those days were behind us. But I was wrong, because there's a YouTube channel, it's called MTV Vault, where they brought back all of the old MTV cribs, and I have to say, they're incredible. So today we gotta watch 50 Cent's Old House, because not only is it massive, but, uh, well, just wait and see. Just subscribe and hit the like button, and now with that said, just watch this. One also a big thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video, but more on that later. Look at this, it's like it's filmed on an old camcorder. It's hard to believe that this stuff was 15 years ago. So back then, like all of this was like the, the high tech stuff. This is before an Apple iPhone. Just put that into perspective. This is when you had flip phones and uh, they were able to do this. Yo, Will, let me in, man. No doubt, yeah, yo. See, I miss that MTV used to have like these little skits and stuff like that, where they'd open the door, Welcome MTV Cribs, here's my home. And it's like, you know, all 50 people just hanging out in the house. Didn't 50 Cent go bankrupt? Hold on, what, what's going on? 50 Cent bankrupt. A federal judge recently discharged the bankruptcy case of rapper 50 Cent after he paid 50 cents. 50 cents after the bankruptcy. 50 Cent after he paid more than $22 million of his debt. Well, 50 Cent filed for Chapter 11 reorganization in 2015 with debts of $36 million and assets of less than $20 million. What? What happened to it all? Well, you know what? Let's watch the, I almost spilled my coffee. Let's watch the video and then let's go into 50 Cent's debt and figure out why he declared bankruptcy. house. He's living in just like a, a massive office building library. Like you, you would expect this to be a museum. Like you go to the Natural History Museum and it, it looks like this. Like you could see, like that's the parking lot. Wow. No, he's spending too much money. Oh my gosh, so unnecessary. I would be, I would be angry if someone did that in my driveway. I'd be like, look, now, now there's skid marks there. Who's going to clean that up? Oh my gosh, I remember myself when I was 15 years old, this is 2005, I really wanted a Chrysler 300C because I'm like, people are gonna think it's a Bentley. Isn't that cool? And I, I wanted like this big, like 24 inch spinner rims on it. Like, it goes to show you how quickly things change. Yo! It's my right answer to the dog, man. Yo! Yo! Does he not have a doorbell? The guy spends $36 million on stuff but skimps on the $10 it would take to get a doorbell. And all your friends, meanwhile, they have to no! yell in front of your no! house to get your attention. This is actually before like texting was really as prevalent where you could just like send a text and be like, hey, I'm outside. Back then, you, you just had to knock. What's the matter with you, man? MTV Cribs is here. I don't wanna do Cribs unless I could do the whole thing. Oh, the guy's always got a smile. <laughs> he could say the most like just derogatory stuff. He's just just smiling the entire time. Makes you smile too. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this editing was like way ahead of its time. MTV Cribs really set the standard for home tours. And and now look at look at us on YouTube. We, we, we're missing some of this stuff. Oh my gosh, did anyone else see this? Look at this. 51,000 square feet, 19 bedrooms, and I kid you not, 55 bathrooms in Connecticut. This guy's got over an acre of just house. Who need, why? It's, it's, how many people does he have living in this house? Oh my gosh, it looks so bad now. You look at this, and if someone lives like this now, if they're a celebrity, you'd be like, what, is, who is their designer? What were they on? It looks so old. But this is like, this was the style in the early 2000s. Like this was, this was it. You had this, like the, you had those curtains and you were, you were rocking it. I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? We never ate at this table, but it's pretty though, right? It's always the biggest flex right now is to have rooms that you don't use. Be like, yeah, this is my living room. Don't use it. This is my dining room table. 
don't use it. This is my refrigerator. Don't even cook. It's just to have stuff and not use it. That's when you know you're rich. Or that's when you know you're about to go bankrupt. I ain't even gonna tell you no lies. These chairs came from Mike Tyson. It was here before we got here, but this table I had flown in. Flown in from where, though? They cut him off before. It's like, that's the most interesting part. Flown in from Egypt, Canada, Mexico. We, we, we got to know where it came from. This right here, you see this little the red button right here? It indicates to you this is Baccarat crystal. That's $80,000 right there. $80,000 in 2015 money. What is that with inflation? That's got to be like $150,000 today. Why would you spend so much money on a chandelier in a room that you don't even use? The one improvement that I could suggest is that they should be integrating a Simply Safe security system who just so happens to be sponsoring today's video. The reason I say this is because I've been using their system now for four years and I'm shocked I didn't learn about them earlier because home security is something that's extremely important. Not only for your own safety, but also your peace of mind knowing that your home is protected around the clock. I've used your system to check on the living room from the other side of the house late at night when I've heard a noise and I don't want to investigate. I checked to see if packages have arrived at the front door and it's been incredibly easy to set up myself in under 30 minutes without having to wait for a technician to show up. From there, you could literally just check the app and everything is right there all in one place in your phone. Simply Safe's lineup includes sensors that cover every window, room, and door, HD security cameras for inside and out, plus lots of great extras like smart locks, video doorbells, water sensors, and more. Their new wire wireless outdoor security camera with a 140 degree field of view, 1080p HD resolution, and even a built-in spotlight and color night vision. Once you set it up, your home is going to be protected 24-7 by Simply Safe's interactive monitoring service, who's ready to dispatch police or firefighters on a moment's notice. Plus, their professional monitoring service costs less than a dollar a day, which is way less than some of the old school brands. And there are no long-term contracts, so you could start and stop at any time without any hidden fees. So if you're interested, you could save 20% in your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Just visit simplysafe.com slash Graham Stephan show to learn more. And now with that said, let's get back to the video. I could have bought a BMW instead of that right there. And he should have. He should have put that towards his debt. 50 cent, what you doing? Why? And this right here is one of my favorite things in the house right here. If you look closer, you see it's me. My uncle made this for me here in the penitentiary. He's been in jail for 15 years. Oh my god, that's actually pretty impressive. I thought for a second, this is from Egypt and they just found someone who looked like 50 Cent and he's like, yeah, this is me. Like, But no, it's actually him. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take y'all over here to the kitchen. See, I got a sound system in here. Where the cook could be jamming. <laughs> Look at that. It's crazy that all of that has just been replaced with one of these. You know, you, you don't need all it. Look at this. He's got like a, a CD player. Uh, yeah, look, he's, he's got things for CDs, DVDs, the little auxiliary cables. It's crazy now that it's just like, just buy this now. See, I look at this as a real estate agent. I'm like, this house is so dated. You gotta gut the house now. You just tear it down, start over. Show you my refrigerator. This would have been replaced with a wine fridge now. This is my favorite flavor of vitamin water right here. Bam. Formula 50. Oh yeah, was it? He's an investor of vitamin water, right? 50 cent vitamin water. How much do you make from that deal? Wow. This is crazy. So in 2007, Coca-Cola bought uh, the company, I, I'm not gonna pronounce this correctly. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. For a whopping $4.1 billion. And according to Forbes, 50 cent made an estimated $100 million. So it's interesting how he files for bankruptcy and then all of a sudden the company just sells. He makes $100 million. Ah, I, I don't want to say that was done on purpose, but uh, gosh, he's, he's a smart businessman. Well, I got all of this new stuff. Look at this. Nobody ever cooked in there. <laughs> you on to me? Are you on to me yet? That's so dangerous to put wood in there because all it takes is for one person to turn it on, have no idea that that's in there, and then the whole house goes up in flames. Given that though, he'd probably make more money from the insurance payout. Now let me tell you the truth, right? This house has six kitchens. Six kitchens. It's just about, just about excess. This was the, this is the point where like minimalism was not a thing. This is the opposite. It's like you want as much space as possible that is impossible to use at all. First, I'm gonna go change and some clothes, and then I'm gonna come back and show you everything. What's up? You like my new outfit? Why do you change his clothes? What's the point of that? This is supposed to be a sitting area. You're supposed to sit 
and maybe read something. I guess he's never used that room either. Let me take you over here so you can check this stuff out. Hey. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's living in a resort. He's got like the entire state of Connecticut just like in his backyard. This is it right here, this is my empire. Oh man, he's got a lake? What on earth? This thing, 50, you gotta be renting this stuff out. You, you could be living with like 50 roommates and you could be making bank from this place. Just run a boarding house here. Kanye wants to say goodbye. Say goodbye, Kanye. Goodbye. And you know, now we gotta go. Were they having beef back then? I think so. Those are the days when, when Kanye was just having beef with 50 Cent and uh, not with Instagram and everything else. I spent a lot of time in here. That's why his chair's already moved back. Got the motorized joints. When I put it back, like this guy never leave his house. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have to. It's like I bet there's a bowling alley in there. He's got a movie theater in there. He has six kitchens. He doesn't have to walk far to get some food. You would never need to leave here. Look, look at the telephone. Look at that. Those are the cool items that you just you forget existed. Telephones, right? When you had to plug them in the, the outlet and then you couldn't be on the internet at the same time. Those are the days. I got some cool stuff on here. Look, I got this thing, the system on here. I got 3,000 movies inside this actual system. system. <laughs> 3,000 movies. It's called Netflix now. <laughs> That's crazy that that was a flex back then. Be like, yo, check this out. We got Netflix. We, we got, I, I can watch a movie anytime I want to. Like technology, the, the new stuff. The DVD player. <laughs> this is funny to see how, just how quickly things change. Yeah, it was popping, man. You know, it was G Unit. Uh, some people used to call me that uh, <laughs> when, I was, when I was in my heyday. Be like, yo, what's up, G Unit? Not anymore. I've not. I've not been called that in a very long time. I'm always ripping and running, but when I do come to the mansion, this is where I crash at. Yeah, see, it's so big. He could have all his friends stay there. He wouldn't. Wouldn't even see him. They, they'd have their own bowling alley, their own kitchen that he would never use. Early in the studio every day. You know, she's not. <laughs> There's no way that they're filming this in the afternoon and and she's sleeping through all of this. I bet they they have to tell her like, hey. Babe, just pretend to sleep and I'll give a tour around you. <laughs> Man, imagine seriously like being asleep and uh, looking back at this and be like, you were filming without telling me and I'm just like passed out in the bed. Right now it's time for y'all to get the hell out of my room, man. Go check out Yale or something, man. Years to talk to oh my God, there are more of them. <laughs> they, they, all, they all just live in this house together. You have no idea. I'm living the American dream. This right here is my room. Oh my God, their room is bigger than like the entire house here. You see, I got the beautifulest view, man. I got a view of the pond, the waterfall, pool. I just got a view of everything. He does have a really nice view though, I gotta say. He's probably got like the best bedroom in the house. Wow, that, look at that. They have a TV come up from the, from the bed. It's kind of neat. Surrounded by entertainment. Funny that all of that now is just like your iPhone. TV here. Uh, I watch TV. Yeah. It's all about watching TV now. Now it's just like me in bed late at night with my phone like this. You know, and and, that, and that's the TV. Just just that, and I hope I don't drop the phone on my face. I like the Whoa! I actually that's pretty cool to rotate TV like that. Watch TV from the shower. It's the thing with technology though, is like if you spend a lot of money in tech like that, it just becomes obsolete five years later. Because the majority of the shoes that I got in here are G in the shoes. It's a lot of shoes. Look at this, all the red ones, they look exactly the same. He's got multiple pairs of the same shoes. Oh, let me show you my pool. Oh, wow. How does he have to take a, a golf cart to get to his pool? You would think that would be inconvenient. I'd, I'd much rather just walk 10 feet into the pool than take a golf cart down there. I want it to feel like I'm on a beach. 
You pretty much can just walk down and it ends up being like 12 feet. That's good. You know what? How much does house sell for? 50 cents sold Connecticut. Wow. Okay, guys. This is crazy. 50 cents Connecticut mansion, once listed for $18.5 million, has finally sold at an 84% discount after 12 years. This sold for $2.9 million. 2.9? Why? This house would cost $10 million to build. I'm guessing it's because it's so dated that any buyer is going to buy it. It's probably going to have to rip out a lot of the house. You would expect that that's like, that's land value at that point. Why, why, why? Let me show you some of my cars. No way. Oh man, this guy's car collection would be worth a fortune today. Oh man. This is Curtis right here. You understand what I'm saying? It's the Ferrari F50. All right, so he's got an F50. That's got to be worth, what, $5 million today? He's got an F40 next to that. That's got to be worth about three and a half to $4 million, depending on the mileage, plus or minus a million bucks. He's got an Enzo right there. That's another $3 million. I wonder if he's kept these cars. Car be loud. This is like a stock car. I don't really use it for much. Really what I do is I use it for conversation. I get around my really rich friends, and they say, I got a Ferrari F50. I say, me too. 50 might not know how to pick real estate, but he could for sure pick cars. Wow. This is the Enzo right here. It's $1 million. Yeah, $1 million back. That car's gone up 300% in value. This could be a three to $5 million car. In yellow, you almost never see them in that color. Gosh, this car was an incredible investment. Whoever had a million dollars back then, they'd be making so much bank. Keep this car, you keep them nice and neat. You start every now and then, ride around a block, and the value just goes up, up, up. He's smart. I bet, you know, 50 is a smart businessman. He's good, he's buying good, besides the house, he's buying good investments, he's buying good companies. This right here be the car you see me. This is my baby right here. This right here is the new G6 GXP. I feel like Pontiac paid him for a promotion. Like, this is my favorite car, the Pontiac G6. This is my favorite. This is what I drive. Meanwhile, it's like the Ferraris are like, what the, what? Really? Great move, Pontiac, though. Hottest car on the street. Now for sale at your local Pontiac dealership. Mention 50 and you'll get $50 off your next Pontiac G6. Right now we're in the Gucci room. A lot of money was spent on these walls, man. Gucci print all over the place and also suede. Why? I feel like that's just a waste. That's a waste. Why? It's just so, what, so the pool stick could hit that when people are gearing up a little bit too much? You know, a lot of stuff happens on that couch over there. Don't want to talk about that on camera because it's MTV. <laughs> why even? Why even mention it though? Why even? Like, oh yeah, a lot of stuff happens there. We can't talk about that though. Just don't say anything. This is my indoor pool right here. How is all of this 2.9 million dollars? How on earth did that ever happen? Whoever bought this house got a steal of a deal. This is actually the strip club area. Oh no! Why did you do that in this room? Whoever bought this house has to explain this. Uh, yeah, I bought a house and it has a, a strip club down below, but uh, yeah, just an extra feature. Imagine putting that in the listing. <laughs> Imagine describing this room. This is a nightclub area. I can't believe he has a nightclub downstairs. Again, he doesn't need to leave the house. He's got everything there. He's missing a bowling alley though. That's the only thing that, that is missing that I have not seen yet. So it looks like 50 Cent filed for bankruptcy after losing a privacy lawsuit that required him to pay $17 million to an audio equipment company and another $6 million to Lestonia Leviston. Um, so anyway, so it appears as though after that though, he's paid off his debts, then he sold his company for uh, you know a $100 million stake, and now he's rich again. So overall, incredible video. Uh, we saw the rise and fall and the rise again at 50 Cent. If you guys enjoy MTV videos like this, you want me to watch more of them, just comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.